Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the second online Tayside and Fife Archaeological Committee Conference. I'm Moira Gregg, Chair of TAFAC at the moment. The committee hope you're all well and are still managing to stay safe. We hope that by this year we'll be back to a real face-to-face -face conference, but we felt, given the Delta variant of COVID and the way it's still spreading, it would be safer to hold back and wait for things to settle a little more, hopefully by next year. However, despite COVID, or COVID the work in the field of archaeology has been undertaken, thankfully, though perhaps not so widespread as usual. The conference will again be run over two mornings, today and tomorrow, when you should log in by 9.30. I'm chairing today's session and Rachel Benvey, our Vice Chair, will chair tomorrow morning's session. There will be a few minutes between papers to allow time to set them up. As at a normal conference, we'll be having a coffee break. I'll tell you later the time of that. Again, as last year, there will be a question and answer session at the end, after all the morning papers, when speakers will be here live, live on Zoom to answer any questions you may have. If you wish to ask a question, there is a chat box at the bottom of your screen where you can type in your question and say who it is directed to. This year, the conference was, is slightly different from last year's. We were all shocked and saddened to hear of the very sudden and unexpected death of our Vice Chair Oliver O'Grady last year. We therefore have decided to hold a keynote presentation in his memory this year, given today by Dr Gordon Noble of Aberdeen University. This will be just after the morning coffee break. Two shorter appreciations on Oliver's work will follow by being given by two members of the committee, Joe Fitzpatrick and David Munro who both worked with Oliver on the Falklands Hill project. Our other presentations over the two days again cover the relatively wide area that TAFAC represents, as well as a wild field of different periods. We will be visiting the Weems Caves to have a look at some of the lesser known carvings. Through various scientific investigations, we will hear about a Pictish man who once lived near Blair Athol. We will learn how rapid photographic surveys can add more information about some of our vernacular buildings. We will also visit Logirate terraces. As I said earlier, over the last year or two, the commercial archaeology units have still managed to undertake work. So we'll hear from Gard about work they have undertaken at Rattray, Perthshire and at Garbridge in Fife both sites of which revealed considerable remains from the prehistoric period. CFA did excavations this spring near Aelith, where they recorded a Neolithic pit-defying closure as well as Roman field ovens. This year is important to Archaeology Scotland, as it is now 30 years since a Doctor monument came into being. This helps local communities to manage their heritage. Since then it has gone from strength to strength, so we have invited Phil Richardson, the Adopter Management Project Manager, to tell us a little more about it. Many of you will recall the devastating fire which happened on the 11th of June this year at the Scottish Cranach Centre in Loch Tay. This destroyed the iconic reconstructed Cranach. Fran is going to update us on the opportunities which have risen despite this great loss. Our conference is also when we launched the TAFAC Journal. This year it's Journal 27, which is now online. There are a variety of parts in it. A new survey of East Loman Hillfort by Lucas Banachek, George Geddes, Alice McCaig and Adam Welfare from Hess. The Logie Rate Terraces, a place of significance by Claire Ellis. The Blair Athelman incites the diet and lifetime mobility of a Pictish individual using multi-isotope approaches by Orsoya Xeri, Jovita Fassett, or Fawcett, sorry, Jane Evans, Kerry Seale, Gundela Muldner, Mark Hall, Bill Will, Juliet Mitchell, Gordon Noble and Kate Britton. So there's quite a few contributing to that one. 
Two medieval pilgrim bridges attributed to St Margaret of Scotland is by Lydia Proser and Robert Webley. Feart Maidens, the Witches of Perthshire by Irene Halliburton. A new interpretation of the Fulden Seal Matrix by Gary and David Strachan. And the Ballygarno Ballyda- Stone Disc by Fraser Hunter. On behalf of the committee, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the authors and the following sponsors. SLR Consulting Aberdeen, Dunfermline Heritage Community Projects, Clan Strachan Society and Clan Strachan Charitable Trust, Dunfermline Heritage Community Projects, the Jamie Cairncross Charitable Trust, the Department of Scottish History and Archaeology at the National Museum Scotland, Historic Environment Scotland. The journal could not go ahead without the financial backing of funders who generously, who generously provides grants for the published papers in our journals. As ever, several people commit their time to help publish this finished journal, so I would like to personally thank our editor, Derek Hall, for his sterling work, along with his editorial team of Catherine Smith, John Sheriff, David Munro and Elspeth Reid. Again, a very special thanks to Christina Unwin, our typesetter. I would also like to thank John Sheriff, who edits and produces the TAFAC newsletter. This year, as a TAFAC special, we are pleased to launch this year's issue of Celebrating Archaeology in Scotland. This is the fourth issue of the Historic Environment Scotland magazine, which acts as the annual report of Scotland's archaeology strategy that aims to showcase the great work taking place across the nation and promote how people from all corners of the heritage sector are delivering the aims of the archaeology strategy. This year's issue is as topical as ever, highlighting the work archaeologists are doing to understand and mitigate against climate change, to bring hidden and obscured histories to light and use our heritage to improve well-being. Articles range across a wide variety of subjects, from project updates and new research to changes in heritage practice. And there are five articles which touch closely on the TAFAC remit. You can download your free copy today from the link which you will find in the chat box. So please feel free to share it far and wide. As last year, we again thank Doug Doug Rocks McQueen for making these two days happen. He pre-recorded all the talks and edited them all and is still working away in the background today to make the Zoom conference work. So again, Doug, thank you. Our grateful thanks are again also due to our secretary, Eva Bennett, who also does an enormous amount of work pulling things together and keeping us all on track. So thank you, Eva. Finally, A big thank you to all of you for your continued support of TAFAC by joining us today and also for your generous donations for which we are truly grateful. We hope you enjoy this virtual conference as much as you did last year and again we hope, just hope that maybe we can have a real conference next year if that little light at the end of the tunnel grows a little more. We shall meet shortly.